Hi there, and thanks for checking in online for your latest weather forecast. I'm meteorologist Jack Church. We had an absolutely beautiful Thursday all across Southern Oregon and Northern California. This is how it looked for the Rogue Valley. Not a cloud in sight, crystal clear skies. With those clear skies, though, and cold temperatures again in the forecast tonight, guess what? Frost advisory is in effect for most of the West Valleys here in Southern Oregon, and that will be in effect from 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. Friday morning, so count on a little frost once again. Still have a pretty good ridge of high pressure that's dominating our weather for the time being given those strong offshore flow in California where the fire danger is immensely high. For us, though, basically a quiet weather pattern. There is a front out here in the Pacific that will graze the region over the weekend, but not looking for it to make a big difference in our weather. You can see on the pinpoint forecast, here's our area of high pressure. It will begin to weaken a bit and drift a little further towards the east, but our Friday looks absolutely beautiful across the area. Then it weakens further, and on Saturday, that will allow this front to start creeping into the area. May spread a few clouds clouds here and there. There's a real slim chance of a rain shower or two north of, say, the North Bend and Coos Bay area. That is about it. No other big change is expected. It'll be a little cooler behind the front, but uh, not a lot. Uh, tomorrow, beautiful in Bend at 61 degrees, 64 in both Portland and in Eugene. Tonight along the coast, lows are going to be in the 40s to as mild as 50, though, in Gold Beach and Brookings. A little breeze keeps the air stirred up there a bit. Tomorrow afternoon, though, look for a high in Gold Beach of 68, 67 in Crescent City and 65 in Bandit with mostly sunny skies. East of the Cascades, cold again tonight. Not quite as cold as last evening, but still, we're talking 15 in Christmas Valley, 24 in Lakeview, 25 in Klamath Falls. Tomorrow, uh, many of us will get in the 60s from Klamath Falls to Alturas to Lakeview, upper 50s near 60 in Chimalt and Christmas Valley. Valley. Back here in the West Valleys, keep in mind we do have the frost that's going to be likely tonight. Lows falling back off into the 30s once again. 34 here in Medford, 36 in Grants Pass. Tomorrow afternoon, mostly sunny skies and beautiful. Low to middle 70s. We'll shoot for 76 here in the Medford area. Next seven days, as I mentioned, that little front may bring a few clouds late Saturday, uh, but otherwise we'll still be in the 70s. Then it turns a little cooler behind the front. Varying amounts of clouds with some weak frontal systems throughout next week, but temperatures remain mild. Maybe a little better chance of a little rain along about next Thursday. Klamath Basin, same story for you. You get milder. A lot of highs are going to be in the 60s. Lows are going to be in the 30s. Meanwhile, at the coast, uh, uh, slight chance of showers probably Thursday and Wednesday. Best bets for that. I think that front coming through Saturday again north of Coos Bay and such might get a shower elsewhere. Just a few clouds. Highs in the 60s, lows in the 40s, so around 50. And Northern California, same pattern as the rest of us. Some nice mild days with cool nights and a chance of showers Wednesday night or Thursday. Thanks again for checking in online for your forecast. Watch us over the air as well. That's at NBC5 News. Have a good one.